Today we are going to create a dashboard in ServiceNow. This is a very, very easy thing. And I'm going to show you the three things that I most commonly do with the dashboard. One is create it. Second is share it, of course. And the third is add tabs to a dashboard. So the way you do this is you go to your navigator and you type dashboard. You want to select the first option that comes up, self-service and dashboards under it. And now when the screen opens, you will see on your uh, right hand side that there is an option called create a dashboard. So you click on this, you give it a name. Let's say, you know, I have a story dashboard for stories, let's say, and you submit it. Now the screen comes for you to configure the what you want to what you want your dashboard to show. So there are various widgets here that you can pull in from. The one that I use most commonly is reports. So what would typically happen is that I would have created four or five reports and now these need to be shown in a single view. And this is where a dashboard is quite useful, quite handy to do. So story points is one report that I built. I'll just click on this and, and add it to the dashboard. You see that it appeared. And then another one is stories. I'll do the same thing. And you see that this has appeared. So now you want to make it look a little nicer and the way you can do this is very simple. You know, it's just drag and drop. You can uh, resize it here so that this takes half the screen, this takes half the screen, and then you can show them here. And there are some other options for settings and, and, uh, and so forth. This usually I do not mess with it unless, you know, you have some requirement to make it look like your brand colors and whatnot because I feel like out of the box, what we get is quite nice. So I will skip those options for you, but know that, you know, you can customize colors, etc. So now that you have created this, the next thing to do is to share this dashboard. Now that is here. And the thing to remember here is that by default, this is not viewable to anyone. So I wish it was the other way around, but by default, it is viewable to everyone and then you make it private. But by default, this is a private dashboard. So you add groups and users here and keep in mind that by default, it will send an email. So one hack that we use is that we have a group for the entire company. And many times I will just add that as a recipient, uncheck this and share this. So, so that, you know, now I can send the link to anyone without having to worry about whether they have access or not. Now, once I taught this trick to one of our interns and she forgot to uncheck this, and you know 20,000 emails or how many ever people we have it went it sent out emails to all of them and then for the next week or so she would have ping from people hey you shared this with me did you mean to share it and and so forth so that's just one thing to remember and you just need to add recipient whomever select or unselect and then share so that's that's also very simple now once you do that the third thing which at least i've seen that is quite useful is to create tabs in your dashboard. So you go here in the configuration menu and you click on a create tab on the create tab button. And now here, you know, it creates two tabs. Now, why I say this, I do this very frequently is because often you're sharing a dashboard because it's a collection of reports. And then those reports themselves can be categorized in one or more ways. So at least that's what I've seen. So you create a tab here and let's say, you know, in my view, I have often seen that you have a main view. So this would give you, you know, an executive lands here and they say, okay, you know, this is my high level data. And then these, the second tab is usually our details. So you, after you've seen the main information, you go to details and this would often have some sort of a list view. So let's say, you know, we have something, yeah, we do have a list view called story and epics. So you can just add it here and, you know, again, resize and uh, this can be your nice little main and details. So these are the three things that I most commonly do. One is create it, share it, and then create a tab. There are of course many, many other things that you can do with it. But to start with, I wanted to share this with you. Now this is already in the, in the system, it's already saved when you submitted it. So you don't have to do anything extra. You can just take this link and share it out and people will see it. And let's just, you know, go here and uh, now when you do this, you should be able to see the dashboard that you just created with the storied stories. And when you click it, you should be able to just view whatever you created. So here you have main and, and then details. 
And another thing to remember is like the report, this would also have the same features. So if I click on this, it would just open up in a list view what what that comprises of. So same, same as a report. So that's also a very handy feature. So these are the three things I wanted to cover with you. If you have any other questions or comments, uh, please leave them and I'll be happy to respond to them. And if you like the video, then please like and subscribe. Thanks everyone.